One of many lawmakers are working on during this shortened legislative session. Dallas Santiveros is live at the state capitol with more on what they want to accomplish in just three weeks. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Chris. And one of those topics being discussed this week is child care, which is why we have Representative Lisa Kitagawa, who joined us here on Take Two. Good morning, Lisa. Aloha. Good morning, Dallas. Thank you so much for joining us uh, with us here on Take Two. We appreciate it. So I want to ask you, earlier on Wake Up Today, we talked about how the state is planning to take over $600 million from the Federal CARES Act and to help aid the different agencies who are still struggling right now. What challenges is our child care services facing right now, and how much money will go towards that industry? Great. So right now we have about 900 licensed child care providers across the state. In May, only 30% were open, and so we're uh, allocating about $5 million from the CARES Act to be able to support our child care facilities. This is so that parents can go back to work and also have a safe place to take their children. So within that $5 million, we're going to be providing funding for PPE, for cleaning supplies, as well as for additional staff, staff to be able to maintain um, safety guidelines. Now, is there any direct support for families for early child care? Yes, so through the Department of Human Services, there are two programs, the Preschool Open Doors Program, as well as Child Care Connection Hawaii. Both provide um, subsidies to families to be able to send their child to preschool if they cannot afford it. So right now they've expanded the eligibility for these programs and so more families can actually apply. So they can just go straight to the Department of Human Services website, get that information and apply for those two programs for some subsidies. Okay, sounds like a lot of things are going on right yeah. now and you know to just add that reassurance to families who are just thinking about the future, any encouragement that you could give them of that about our leaders working right now? Um, I think you know right now the state is really working on trying to make sure that we create those safe spaces, especially for our youngest, our early childhood, our Kiki that are you know um, under age five who are not yet in the public, in public schools. And so we're really looking at how do we create those safe spaces while also allowing them to continue to learn and grow. And so this $5 million that we're giving is going to um, support that. Representative Lisa Kitagawa, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. And of course, if there is any details or confirmations that does come out of today or later on this week, we'll definitely keep you posted in our future newscast and also online at KHWIN2.com where you can read the latest. And until then, reporting from the state capitol, Dallas Santaveros, KHWIN2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. On Maui, more